uh, MC, rapper by trade. Um, and Rosa Pimente is somebody that I work with uh, on a lot of local and sort of national stuff prior to her candidate. Um, a lot of that was focused in, you know, some uh, education, youth violence, prison industrial complex, poverty work. Um, and we actually uh, worked together on some very specific projects during the course of her candidacy year, um, including the uh, March for Our Lives, which took place in Minneapolis and was led by the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign, um, of which their national organizer was to be the second uh, vice presidential candidate I would be interacting with, Sherry Honkala. Um, for the Jill Stein and Sherry Honkala campaign, I was the racial and economic justice organizer. Um, I met some of you during the course of that campaign, Greg. We uh, ran into each other at Youth Uprising in Oakland. Um, and so kind of after two vice presidential candidates of, who were people that I had worked with kind of in the trenches for years, uh, I realized I should just roll up my sleeves and get engaged. Um, so it's just kind of a matter of where and when. Um, I started this year off as a resident of San Jose. Um, I've since moved to Oakland, so I still have to catch up to do with Alameda County folks. Um, and I'm really, I guess, part of the stream of people who recognize the sort of intersection of ecology and economy. Um, who recognize that the increasing poverty of our country, uh, most recent numbers state that California is now leading the country um, as having the largest number of poor people in America. That's our state, that's us, that's what we're dealing with. Um, and, you know, uh, realizing that the kind of dramatic systemic changes that are going to be necessary to preserve Mother Earth are also going to be necessary to preserve humanity. Um, and so, you know, I'm here both as a challenge to myself um, and I guess as a challenge to the party as a whole because I come out of a very um, intense space and uh, recognize the urgency of the moment. So I'm very honored to have this opportunity. I was actually in the hospital um, with my application to do it. Mike sort of helped me out there. but. Uh, my hope is that this, uh, this space, you know, the more I've learned about the Green Party, the more I recognize how it's sort of held a space for a uh, transformative political viewpoint um, in a one-party uh, duopoly uh, that is going to kill us, it's killing us. Um, and you know, my hope is that we can, my hope is that we take this situation seriously enough that we recognize there are people waiting for us. Um, and, you know, part of what I guess brought me in here was uh, a lot of folks who look like me, uh, young, black and brown, men and women, who aren't here, uh, who don't even know they're supposed to be here, uh, who voted for Jill Stein and Sherry Honkla, and who voted for Rosa Clemente um, and Cynthia McKinney, who did not vote for Ralph Nader. Um, there's a lot of those out there that are looking for something outside of the Democratic and Republican Party. And the reality of the situation is that in America, this is it, provided that we can take ourselves seriously enough to become that, which we're not. But anyway, if you want to deal with that for the next few years. <laughs>